What's up guys, welcome back to another video. Okay, I got some unboxings for you today, but this first one, this one's I guess kind of a special one. This one's a Neo Geo Arcade Stick Pro. Now I was aware of this thing, I had seen videos on it, you know, of course YouTube, thank God for YouTube, right? So I saw people review this thing, it looked really cool. I liked the fact that there was games on the arcade stick, you could use an HDMI cable to your TV with it. And I like the fact that you can use this on like the PS4, the Nintendo Switch, I, I guess maybe the PC. I'm pretty sure you can't use this thing on an Xbox, but I'm sure that's not going to hurt anybody's feelings. But this was a, it was like a $200 item. If you want the game link adapter, it was maybe bundled. It was like right around 200 or maybe a little bit less, but they had this thing on Amazon, not Amazon Japan, but Amazon, just like the regular Amazon here in the U S for $99.99 with the game link adapter. So when I saw that, I, I said, uh, it's probably not going to get any cheaper than this. And who knows it might, you know, maybe people still won't buy it. I don't know, but I'm telling you guys right now, but for a hundred dollars, I feel like this is a pretty decent deal. I mean, you can use this thing on the PS4. You can use it on the Nintendo switch. It's got 20 games on the, you know, on the console. If you want to call it a console, there's 20 games on the stick, but then there's another 20 games that are unlockable and they're pretty easily unlockable. At this point, I'm recording this video. I already have everything unlocked. So there's 40 games. Uh, there's 20 fighting games. Uh, interesting fact about all the games on here, even the unlocked ones, there are no shooters. It's all fighters and action games. I mean, I, I guess there's some games that are kind of considered shooters, like Shock Troopers, I, I guess. I guess that's one. But um, yeah, yeah, no shooters on here. So this kind of makes me want to go out and get the Neo Geo Mini because you can string a Neo Geo Mini together with this thing and use it on a TV. And there's actually, a, a, I guess, like import or, um, you know, terminals on the arcade stick itself where you can use those new uh, mini Neo Geo or, you know, the little pads, the Neo Geo CD pad. You know what I'm talking about. But anyway, this is everything that comes with it. This is the Game Link adapter. OK, this thing by itself, I don't think you're going to find this thing any cheaper than you know, 45, 50 bucks, you know, if you can find one by itself, but you know, it looks like something you'd use on a PlayStation, <laughs> you know, it looks like a PlayStation product, right? But you need this thing if you're going to use it on a PS4 or a Nintendo Switch, or I'm not sure you can use this on a PC or not, but you know, maybe not, but I'm cool with only being able to use it on the PS4 and the Nintendo Switch, but there's the Game Link adapter and here's the stick. Here's the stick. This is a big, bulky item. It's not that big. I mean, when I compare it to some of the other arcade sticks that I own, it's, it's a little bigger than, you know, like, let's say a, a standard, you know, old school Neo Geo controller. But, you know, it's a little bit smaller than, you know, some of the arcade sticks that I have for like, you know, like the PS4. But there it is. And it's got the shape of a Neo Geo CD gamepad, but it's an arcade stick. You know, I find that to be pretty interesting. I'm not complaining about the shape of this thing. Don't get me wrong. But right there, we have the one, two, and three switch. That's, uh, I guess, what console you're using. And there's another switch on top of that. That's pretty much, you know, are you using it in console mode or you're using it in arcade stick mode. So, yeah, uh, this thing's got a decent little weight to it. It's not too light. You know, I feel like it's not that heavy feels great um you know the, the clicky i love the uh the micro switches i think everybody's uh pretty much in agreement there uh you know the buttons feel pretty good i'm not sure you know what companies they went with to get the components for this thing i'm not a huge arcade stick guy but you know this thing feels pretty good and this is some of the other stuff that comes with it we have a usb type c cable and there's also a USB type C to USB adapter. Now, I mean, maybe you guys can let me know in the comments down below. I'm not really sure what that's used for. Um, I've hooked this thing up to the TV at this point. Uh, I'm, I've used it on the PS4 with the Game Link adapter. Haven't used it on the Nintendo Switch yet, but I'm sure it works. Um, and I haven't had to use that adapter yet. So let me know in the comments. Is this something you use when you, you know, pair a Neo Geo Mini to this arcade stick? Or is it something you use when you pair the controllers to the arcade stick? You know, I don't know. Maybe you use it when you want to string two arcade sticks together and play two player. You know, I have no idea. But yeah, the Neo Geo Arcade Stick Pro, the ASP for the Nintendo Switch and PS4, and it's its own console. Here we have a not so cheap game. This is Grand Blue Fantasy Versus. I actually picked this up at GameStop the other day. This is an $80 game. But, you know, I kind of justified that. This is a fighting series I've, I'm not super familiar with, but I heard a little bit about. Uh, this was super popular in Japan. Uh, it's a fighting game. It really has, like, beat-em-up style mechanics. 
Um, it doesn't have multiple planes, but you kind of catch my drift. Multiple button presses for a combo. It's got a shortcut, so it's got combo shortcuts with uh, shorter cooldown periods. I really kind of into that. And it's got an RPG mode. Yeah, it's got an RPG mode in this game. So, you know, you kind of get, you know, in a sense, you kind of get, I guess, two games in one. But there's the soundtrack. It's not in a regular jewel case. It's in kind of like a long paper. It's like something you get from, like, NG Dev Team or something. Kind of weird. And you have this metallic art card. I don't know who this character is, but I guess I'll keep that in the collector's edition. Keep her complete. And we have an art book. Kind of a shiny art book. Looks like the corner got kind of dinged up a little bit there. But yeah, we have an art book. Always a sucker for the art book. Um, especially, here's what I really like. When they make the art books and they actually have stickers inside of the art book. Yeah, this seems like one of those books that would have stickers inside of it. But yeah, yeah, I love the art books. The main thing is the soundtrack. You know, it burns my ass when they make they put out collector's editions. Anybody puts out a collector's edition that doesn't have a soundtrack. I mean, come on, guys. Here's the game. Now, when I got this at GameStop, of course, the you know the outer wrapping wasn't shrink wrapped, but they actually left the game sealed. I guess that's good enough. You know, I'm sure everybody would want the whole damn thing to be sealed, but you know, whatever. So in here, I know there's a DLC code. I'm gonna have to. Try to blur that out. Yeah, there it is right there. <laughs> At this point, I've already used the code, though, so I guess it really doesn't matter. Um, I, mean, I know you get a few different things when you use the code, and there's like kind of like an arcade, uh, I guess, uh, button command list or whatever. Kind of like what you got if you anybody got s on the Switch or the PS4. It's the same uh, command slip in uh, both games for both systems. But, yeah, Grand Blue Fantasy Versus, this is, uh, there's no manual in there. It would have been nice if there, everything was inside of a manual, the command lists and everything, you know, especially it being you know, a fighting game and all. But yeah, Grand Blue Fantasy Versus on the PlayStation 4. Up next we have My Friend Pedro. This is a physics-based kind of run-and-gun shooter. Looks kind of interesting. And there's a sticker on the front that says there's loads of crap stuck inside of this little teeny switch case. And that is sometimes the case. I mean, look at games like Code of Princess or you know, Raiden 5. Hell, Raiden 5, there was a damn little mini soundtrack in there it looked like a damn PSP game but I remember back in the 90s those uh, CD-ROM trays had that little space in there for a little small little disc and I remember getting games in the 90s for PC that were on discs that size and it kind of looks like a GameCube game or something you guys know what I'm talking about but let's see what all is packed inside of this copy of my friend Pedro and that's some pretty interesting cover art just a banana and some bullets get your attention okay there's a there's a poster in there. There's a little poster in there. There's a whatever that is. There's a little probably a DLC something or other. I think there's a soundtrack to this game that's actually downloaded and downloaded on your phone or whatever. There's the stickers. Okay, I'll probably never use those, but there's this is a twenty dollar game, mind you. This is a twenty dollar game, and they're giving you. Granted, it's not a ton of stuff, but it you know, there's a poster in there. There's a poster. There's a digital soundtrack i would have preferred the raiden 5 style physical little teeny mini umd disc soundtrack honestly but you know beggars can't be choosers i guess look at that look at that interesting so now we have reversible cover art that gives the spine a yellow you know it's yellow instead of red so i wonder what that's going to look like next to all my other switch games luckily i'm not a crazy collector where that kind of thing would really bother me but this let's hold it up to the to the lot there yeah it's gonna look different oh yeah <laughs> i bet that's gonna drive some people crazy i bet a lot of people aren't gonna flip it inside out because of that but yeah my friend pedro on the nintendo switch Okay, last but definitely not least, we got Langrisser 1 and 2 on the Nintendo Switch. Uh, I'm pretty sure it came out on the PS4, Xbox One, I'm not sure. I got the Switch version just because it's an RPG, and if I can play an RPG, it's so much better to play it on the Switch because, you know, not only can you play it on the TV, but you can pick it up and play it on the go. You know, if my woman's sitting in front of the TV watching 90 Day Fiance, you know, I can pick up the Switch and play it on the couch sitting right next to her and, you know, have headphones in and just be just as happy as a clam, you know, playing my RPG, but... Yeah, there was a collector's edition on this. They had, they had pre-orders on NIS America. Dan, a Rebel Gaming Club, he got one. I'm I'm envious of that because I should have fucking pre-ordered that goddamn game. Oh, man. It's expensive now. It's like a $300 collector's edition. But what I might do, if I can find one cheap enough, the Japanese collector's edition of on eBay or something for like 100 bucks, maybe I'll buy it. It's got a soundtrack. Maybe I can sell this game off and recoup half the money. 
Now, I like that reversible cover art there. That's pretty nice. I'm going to have to, yeah, I'm going to have to swap that out. You know, anytime I notice the reversible cover art, if it looks even at all different, I swap it out. But yeah, guys, that's a Langrisser 1 and 2. I got some decent little haul. This is a, you know, a few weeks worth of gaming stuff. I mean, really only, you know, one day of shopping online and another day of driving around to, uh, you know, some different game stops and I think Langrisser I got, yeah, I got that at a GameStop too and that was like 60 bucks, but anyways, guys, that's it for this week. Until next time, peace out. <laughs>